some groceries in this house. Hello. I'm gonna start you off first with the menu plan. For meals this week, I have quite a few of them that I am making. These you have already saw. I have six delicious crock pot meals. They are our favorite crock pot meals. The video will be linked below. Other than that, I am having three more meals. One of them is salsa chicken wrap. Jason requested this one. We haven't had it in quite a while. BLTs, BLTs in summer go hand in hand and a new chicken marinade that I want to try. What I do with my groceries is I put an order online for the bulk of our grocery order. Whatever I may forget to add to the list, we won't talk about that, or things that maybe Walmart doesn't have in stock. We also go to Sam's to get our meats. That's the list that we do the following day. So last night we had our grocery order. Let me show you the stuff we got. Okay, my table is very full, so I'm gonna try really hard not to forget any of these items to show you. So, we're gonna start out with bananas, a tomato, a sweet onion, cantaloupe. I have a bag of fat-free cheddar cheese. I had put an order in for fat-free mozzarella and they didn't have it. Some spinach dip, and I forgot to get the toast for it. Two bags of coleslaw mix, some celery heart, lettuce i have some light sour cream and ricotta cheese i have three packs of the carb counter tortillas for meals lunches all that i eat them a lot <laughs> and then i had put an order in for the sara lee 45 calorie bread they substituted it with this keto white bread and i checked my points on it and it's still saying one point for per slice so that's fine, I'll keep it and try it. And then I have some Wonder Bread for my guys. I have a pack of ranch seasoning, au jus, Stoke coffee, we only needed one this time. Some lasagna noodles, French onion soup, honey, stovetop stuffing, some home style instant mashed potatoes, pineapple juice, I only need a tiny little bit of it, but they don't sell it in anything smaller than this. So I gotta figure out what else to do with that. Hickory smoked bacon, minute rice. Let's go back here. <laughs> Two bottles of hoisin sauce. I got four cans of the healthy chicken condensed soup, cream of chicken soup. Sussy Italian dressing. Okay, I'm at the back of the table, I can't reach. <laughs> Some chicken broth. Two cans of the albacore tuna. I really have been enjoying tuna fish lately for lunches. And then, what is this? Corn, I needed a can of corn. Some Reams frozen egg noodles. These are fantastic. If you haven't tried them, definitely give them a try in chicken noodle soup and oh my goodness, they're so good. And then some frozen corn. Timothy needed some lunches, so I got him this grilled basil chicken, a shiitake chicken, and Cajun style chicken and shrimp. Dee Dee was telling me to try this Cajun style chicken wings she said they're fantastic she said it comes with a dry rub but you don't even need the dry rub she said they're just one of their favorites he has some Chex mix and they substituted this brand of the kettle potato chips salt and vinegar and then i had put an order in for ding dongs they didn't have them they just had cupcakes which is fine okay today i have my shopping buddy with me <laughs> oh that looked like a garage sale yeah squirrel <laughs> no we have to do the shopping first. <laughs> We're gonna start off at Walmart first. We're getting a half gallon of milk for $2.12. We have bread plastic bowls for $2.76. Egg beaters are $4.57. Dozen eggs are $3.26. I can't believe it's not butter sticks for $3.28. We have Jif peanut butter for $6.78. And Hershey's chocolate syrup for $2.87. Hoisin sauce for $3.78. The one of my hoisin sauces ended up being a sesame seed oil, so they're in the same exact purple packaging as each other. You can't tell them apart. My guys ate through the spinach dip. It's $5.54, so we're gonna get another container of it. There were no green onions at Walmart. Me and Jason walked up and down. Jay walked up like two or three times. We couldn't find them anywhere. So, and we also couldn't find the little toast for the um, spinach dip. So we're gonna go across the street to United and see if we can't find those two items. 
United has a lot of green onion, 79 cents. And Jason's got these chips for six, five dollars? Yeah, five dollars. homemade tortillas with seasonings on them. So good. They're not like the bags they used to have. No, they're not. Okay, Jason grabbed two of them. They're $3.99 each. They're the last two. United used to carry those toasts in great big bags, but they said they, don't, they haven't carried them like that in a long time. So I'm glad we ended up getting the two that were left. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have just gotten a loaf of bread and just toasted it up and put some garlic powder right on it. Yeah, which that's what they did last night. Been a lot cheaper. It would have. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah. those were four dollars a piece. That's true. Oh goodness, yeah. So note to self in the future. Yeah, just make homemade. Yeah. We just arrived at the Sam's Club. Okay, we're going in. Coca-Cola is fifteen dollars and forty-eight cents. Uh, Justin's paying for this one. We're not. Yay us. <laughs> Gotta get some hint water. Oh, fourteen dollars and ninety-eight cents. Yikes. For an 18 pack. Yeah, for an eighteen pack. Grabbing some Kleenex. They're on instant savings. Four dollars off right now. They're ten dollars and ninety-eight cents. And my hint water is on instant savings. Hmm. How much was it? Two dollars off. Two dollars off. Good job, Sam's. <laughs> Saved me <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, yes, they sure did. Members Mark bath tissue is twenty-one dollars and seventy-eight cents. We're getting some paper towels, and they're eighteen dollars and ninety-eight cents for select a size. I'm gonna oh. let you get the hint water. You're gonna let me get. I am letting you get iced tea. So we're back in the drink section because Jason forgot to add his iced tea to the list. <clears throat> Hey, this is what I take to work. <laughs> it's $13.98. Blueberries are $4.98. Getting some strawberries for $4.88. My huge black forest ham for $7.82. A pack of cube steak, it's $4.98 a pound with a total of $14.14. .14. Chicken breast is $2.98 a pound. We only need one pack this time. Yay, us. I'm so sad. They didn't have my honey turkey this time. They only had oven roasted, rotisserie chicken, and what was the other one? Smo so they had, did they have oh, smoke? Black pepper. Oh yeah, black, black pepper, pepper one. Roasted yeah. turkey. But I want my honey, man. Oh, you got your honey. I'm right here. I do have my honey. <laughs> <laughs> that was a successful store run. We got everything on our list, plus we remembered the things that we didn't put on our list, and all of the stores had everything. So I am very pleased about that, even if it like, cost us a ton of money and we might have to donate a kidney and put our house up on a loan and right take second a loan mortgage. out yeah second mortgage for the grocery bill <laughs> yeah yeah who's with me on that one so yesterday I made BLTs I'm gonna quick fry up some bacon this one is turkey bacon I bought this in a three pack at Sam's Club and then this one is a hickory smoked bacon by Great Value. I'm just gonna use my electric skillet. It cooks a lot of it, so hopefully I can fit a pack of it in the pan at a time, that'd be nice. Nope, I got about half a pack of the turkey bacon in that pan, that's not bad. It'll go in two batches for this one. That didn't take too long, I'm gonna let it cool completely and then I'll put it in Ziploc bags. But I actually made out my grocery list while I was <laughs> cooking the bacon, so multitasking. It's life. For one of my sides, I have some potatoes cut up in the air fryer, and I have the 21 Seasoning Salute on here by Trader Joe's, which I ordered online because I don't have a Trader Joe's. I wish I did. And I also have some of this olive oil spray on them. I'm gonna get these cooking. I have a can of French style green beans. I'm gonna heat these up in the microwave. And bubbling away on the stove, I have some Balbita shells and cheese. So those are our sides. It's gonna go with our BLTs tonight. Okay, so this is mine. I have the potatoes, a little bit of macaroni and cheese. I am so looking forward to this sandwich. Oh my goodness, it smells and looks delicious, doesn't it? And then I have some green beans too. And today I'm making a Southwest chicken wrap. We haven't made these in quite a while. Oh my goodness, these are one of our favorites. I used to make them all the time. I don't know why I haven't made them in a while. I guess I forgot about them. I'm grilling up some chicken and for seasonings I'm keeping it simple with just some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. In a bowl I have roughly chopped up some lettuce. I have drained a can of corn. I'm going to add, hmm, you can add as much as you want to it or as little. It's completely up to you. I'm going to go about probably half the can. Jason loves corn. I usually add cheese to this as well, but I'm gonna let everybody just add their own amount of cheese. And then I put a little bit of ranch. And I have some medium salsa, matting that in. 
I'm gonna give this a good stir. This is the filling to the chicken wraps. This is so good. It's so simple. You could definitely add black beans if you want to, whatever you want to add. But seriously, just the corn, lettuce, cheese, salsa, and ranch. I mean, seriously, I could just I could eat this right out of the bowl. And that's it. Dinner is super simple. It's a perfect summer supper tonight. I'm serving some chips on the side and we're good to go. This would actually be really good to dip in chips too. Just saying. Tonight I'm putting together a new marinade. I found this one on Pinterest and it only takes three ingredients. I have a gallon sized bag and in that I am putting one cup of Italian dressing. I'm using the Olive Garden Italian. Two tablespoons of pineapple juice and three tablespoons of honey. Now if I sprayed my spoon with cooking spray, the honey would not be sticking to it. <laughs> but I didn't. So I'm struggling. The struggle is real, folks. I'm gonna mix this together a little bit, kinda. Then I'm gonna add four skinless, boneless chicken breasts to this bag, and I'm gonna let it marinate for the day. I think that's gonna give that chicken a lot of flavor. For a side, Jason put together a really quick suddenly salad with black olives and tomatoes. We seem to be stuck on this one. And Justin, my oldest, does not like suddenly salad, so I'm gonna go ahead and make him up a baked potato in the air fryer. What I do for our baked potatoes to make them just a little extra special, I put some olive oil outside of the potato skin and then I put salt all over the potato. Pop in the air fryer at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, flip it and put it in there again, 400 degrees for 20 more minutes and you have a perfectly cooked, delicious baked potato. As always, I will have recipes linked below. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you soon.